So why is gender important when it comes to alcohol? Well, first of all, it's really important to remember that in almost every country in the world, men use alcohol more than women, they're more likely to drink excessively, and they're more likely to suffer from alcohol-related problems. And this is certainly the case in Scotland, where men are twice as likely as women to suffer from alcohol-related deaths, and three times as likely to be hospitalised for alcohol-related causes. And our analysis had showed that newspapers tend to associate women with binge drinking, even though it's much more likely for men to exhibit these, um, these behaviours. And this is problematic because it tends to associate the problem with young women in public places. And it ignores the problem of men's drinking, the problem of older people's drinking, and the problem of home drinking. So when we start to think about alcohol marketing, this is now becoming very targeted at women because this is a new and developing market. So in the past, alcohol marketing very much used women as sex objects. It objectified them to sell alcohol to men. But now we see the alcohol industry wanting to focus on images of women's friendship, of sophistication, and particularly on empowerment to try and sell alcohol to women. And so my call to action really at this conference is for us to start noticing and to start identifying where alcohol companies are selling their products to women in these ways. And our campaign is called hashtag don't pink my drink. So please, if you see examples of this selling to women, please post them on Twitter under don't pink my drink. Mm -hmm.